Hi Mel, this is Kitchen Protocols. Today we make poached salmon from the Food & Wine magazine. Feels like we all know by now, but let's start off with some tools we'll need for today. We have a knife, spatula, 12 inch or at least a 12 inch pan that can go on the stovetop and into the oven, a pair of scissors, parchment paper, our cutting board, and I'll probably use a plate and a cup or two for my produce. Everything needs to be organized. I got a new knife, I'm very excited. I suppose I forgot to film this part, but the ingredients include salmon, leeks, thyme, lemon, cherry tomatoes, olive oil, white wine, butter, and salt and pepper. So I've removed the salmon fillets from their packages. I do have frozen salmon because I'm in a landlocked state and I'm not going to get fresh here. It's not going to happen. It's fine. I put it on top of paper towels to dig up some of that extra moisture that's gonna happen when those cells release water after they've been frozen. And the next step, which I probably should have done first, is cut that parchment paper. So the parchment paper, the parchment paper is supposed to go on top of the salmon while it's in the oven. Oven's at 500, which is really high for my oven. It takes a really long time to get to. So. Yes. So, we've got our parchment paper. It's bigger than the pan for now. That's gonna change. I'm going to fold it a few times. One more, make it a triangle. Isn't that lovely? A little triangle. So the middle of my pan is about here. I'm gonna see what it takes. Cut off the edge. Make it a circle. So now we've made it a circle. Uh, it still looks a little bit, just a little bit more. And so that'll fit on top of the pan on top of the food inside the pan. And we're gonna chop off about half an inch right there. So we wind up with this. It'll fit on top of the fish while it's poaching in that oven. A very hot oven. So for now, this is gonna be set aside. It's like parachute, but it won't save you. It's too small. So that's gonna go aside for now. Like, pour a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So, put the pan aside while we prep our produce. I've soaked up some of that extra moisture. I've measured out my salt and pepper into this glass. I'm gonna shake it around and I'll season my fillets. I'm just gonna do the tops today. I like a little more salt than most of the people I know. But, you know, you do want to season things. We're gonna be using unsalted butter too, so this is your chance to get that nice salt and pepper crust. So this is going, after you've salt and peppered your salmon, you're just gonna set it aside because we've gotta focus on other stuff first. The first thing that's going to go into the pan is the butter. And we're going to use two tablespoons of butter to start with. So we've got our two tablespoons ready. And the lemon. The lemon is supposed to be thinly sliced, 
crosswise. I'm gonna take off that end and the stem and the blossom end because I don't like them. And we're gonna thinly slice. I am gonna go ahead and praise my new knife. Thanks for that stimmy. It went harshly to this. I mean, this was this was my fun purchase. I did some adult things, and then I got a new knife. Because, duh. I'm kind of holding on to the rind with my nails to get this last slice done. All right, so we've got our lemons ready. I think I will go ahead and pick out some of the seeds as I see them. There's no reason for them to cook with it. I'm not gonna chomp into a seed on purpose and I'd rather not do it on accident either. You could save these and try to grow a lemon tree, I guess, but um, I'm not going to. Next up are our leeks. They can be a little bit intimidating if you've never used them before, but just hop off the green parts and peel down the sides a little bit. And then they can be cut down the middle and into slices. Washing them after slicing sometimes is preferred because there can be a little bit of dirt within those slices and it's hard to get to when it's still all in one piece. Leeks are absolutely delicious. They're a little bit oniony with a more mild flavor to them. Now that the lemons and leeks are ready, I'm going to prepare the thyme. All you have to do with the thyme is strip down the leaves. You can keep some of the less woody stems, but the really tough stems need to go away. They're not gonna soften while they cook, not in the least. I like to put them in my little cups when I'm ready to pour it into the pan when it's time to. So now I have my lemon, leeks, butter, and thyme all ready to go into the pan when it's time. Now to pour a little bit of wine. We do wanna measure this out because too much liquid won't go very well. Plus the more that's left over, the more for me with my meal. Do not use a sweet wine. You'll end up with some sort of weird salmon dessert thing and that won't be ideal. Okay, so my oven is finally heated up. I don't actually trust that it knows what temperature it is. A lot of home ovens can be 20% up or down incorrect. So I have, oh, it was showing for, it was showing 500, but I have this little probe thermometer and it has told me that it is up to temperature. Azalea, no. Oh, dear. The oven is up to temperature, even though it hasn't beeped yet. It just, it's not gonna beep. <laughs> I've accepted that. While that was coming up to temperature, I started some rice to serve the dish with. It is uh, suggested to serve with rice and a salad, but instead of rice and a salad, I've chosen rice and roasted asparagus. I, I figured if the oven's already at this really high temperature, I may as well throw in some asparagus roast. <laughs> I may as well throw in some asparagus to roast. It's a little higher temperature than I would like, so once the salmon comes out, I'm just gonna drop the temperature and it'll it'll cook fine. Okay, we have two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter in the pan, melted. Over medium high heat, so that's like a five four on my biggest burner. And I do have a, a gas top. I don't know what it'll be with electric. So the butter's melted and the olive oil is hot. So we're gonna put in the first ingredient, which was the lemon slices. And with my spatula, I am gonna sort of spread those out. Try to get a single layer going. So we put the lemon in and it's bubbling in a little fat. It looks great. I don't smell a difference yet, but I'm sure I will. Okay, so the lemons have cooked for a little over a minute. I'm gonna put the leeks in. That sort of evenly spread out across the pan. I love anything with um, onions and garlic. This doesn't have garlic, but it has leeks, which are 
basically giant onion grasses. Garlic would be fine in this if you wanted to put a clove or two in. Now would be the time and let it heat slowly and not burn. Shallots are a great option. They're a delicate onion flavor. If you don't have access to either of those, grab a regular yellow onion. It's fine. It'll be fine. You might have to cook a regular onion just a little bit longer than you would the leeks to get them very opaque. You don't want to undercook the onions in a fish dish. It'll overwhelm the fish. And you'll use a little bit less. So instead of an entire onion, you might want to use half or a quarter, somewhere between there. I just threw some out of the pan. As this cooked, it wilted. The onion started, I mean, the, the lemons browned a little bit in the butter, which is, is fine. Don't panic. Everything's fine. But it's ready for the next step, which is to add the thyme. So I already got my thyme in my glass. even because we're not going to stir we're just going to put the salmon fillets on top so these have been sitting with the salt and pepper so the salt has really dissolved in to season that fish nicely you can take your time placing them so they fit I got my fish fillets from Butcher Box because <laughs> I like them a lot. Wash those hands. And from here, we want to add the white wine, which we've already measured out, and the parchment paper. I'm going to do the wine first just because I do want to do that. The parchment paper that we already cut, the parachute. I'm going to press it just a little bit. Wonderful. We're going to bring this to a simmer first before it goes in the oven. So I turned my temperature up just a little bit. You may not be able to see it simmer, but I can hear it. I can see it a little bit. So we're ready to turn off, turn off the stovetop. Grab your pan if it's too warm. Get that oven mitt on, don't burn yourself. But mine isn't warm yet, it, it's it's not yet. Uh, and this goes directly into the oven. And while it cooks, we turn red and we drink wine. It's so hot in here already. But I don't wanna turn the fan on because then you won't hear me and I don't wanna do a whole bunch of voiceovers. I just don't, don't make me do it. What we have right now is Tilly laying down, staring at me from the ground as if I've done something to her. Um, what I have done to her is not picked up the toy and played with her because I'm filming. <laughs> Terry is laying a few feet away from her, but they are back to back. And she is also somehow staring directly into my soul. And Azalea just ran past with the toy that I refused to play with, with Tilly. Don't worry, it's, it's early in the evening. It won't get dark for another two hours. We're, we'll have dinner, we'll play outside, I'll do some gardening, I'll drink more wine. Everything is fine. Okay, almost forgot. <laughs> wow, that's in the oven. I need to prepare the cherry tomatoes. Here I have a cup of cherry tomatoes. Ah, uh, yes, a literal cup. I'm trying y'all. We're just gonna cut them in half. This is a frustrating task because it seems to take forever and I just dropped one, but it's not that bad. It looks like I forgot to record the rest of the cooking, but once the salmon came out of the oven, I took the parchment off and the salmon out of the pan onto a plate. I added the cherry tomatoes and a couple of tablespoons of butter and cooked that until the sauce thickened and put the salmon back on into the pan with the lid on for just a few minutes to heat through. The final product was beautiful and delicious and I'll definitely make this again. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, check the description for links to my blog and the original recipes and hopefully more videos. Bye!